and great schools on offer. How good is this Irish stew? It's really good. Happen to know that our homeowners are from Ireland. They moved to Australia about 10 years ago, so it would have been a, a big deal for them at the time. In fact, I remember when the Winters moved to Australia, which would have been about 15 years ago, it was a massive deal for the family. Yeah, well, when the Whitaker <laughs> moved here 21 years ago, it was big stuff. You know, I left all my family behind in England. I have to say, though, no regrets. Love living in Australia. Yeah, me too. Best really? thing I ever did. Yeah, that was very good, wasn't it? Right, how are we doing on time? We better get a wriggle on. OK, right, let's go then. One couple who share our appreciation of living in Australia is Kira and Andrew. They moved from Ireland to Melbourne 11 years ago. I remember standing on a train station waiting for the dart in Ireland and it was raining, middle of winter, and I just thought, there's got to be more to life than this. And I've always wanted to come to Australia. I just turned to Andrew that day and said, I'm going with you <laughs> or without you. Together, they arrived in the land down under to create their Australian dream. I work as a finance broker and I've worked with the same company since I arrived in Australia, so for the last 11 years. I'm a research scientist, so I work at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. I've been there nearly 10 years. After establishing successful careers and marrying, they had two children Oi. and found that picket fence property. We bought this house at auction four years ago and there must have been about 150 people here. It was absolutely mobbed. What I loved about the house was the character about it. I love the style of the house and I love the fact that it had just been renovated. <laughs> they had it all wrapped up and then the ribbon came loose. The family experienced life-changing loss and gain. So I was 32 weeks pregnant when we got the call to say that my sister, my beautiful sister Aoife, had passed away, um, leaving behind her only child, A.V., who was six at the time. So we flew home um, with Marley, who was four, Georgia, who was two, and when Jack was born, A.V. came to be with us. She's a great big sister. She really takes that responsibility on and relishes that. I can't think of life without her now because she's been a really positive influence. She's a huge part of the family, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. They went from two to four children in an instant, and it's dealt them a full house. <laughs> you okay? Everyone okay? I would describe our lives as 
beautiful chaos. Toothpaste. We both work and juggle the whole situation ourselves, so drop off pickups, and I think it can get a bit crazy at times. You gotta brush out the back. It is. It, it's beautiful, like, to have a house full of people, but it's, it's definitely a hectic life at the moment. With so much growing and going on, the home they thought was future-proofed is now wow. bursting at the seams. It is a beautiful house, but I think because we are a family of six, it just doesn't function for us as I would like it to. So obviously, our needs have changed somewhat, and being living here for four years with four children has knocked a few of the corners off it. The house is three bedrooms. Two of the girls share in one bedroom, and Jack and Avi share the other. So Aves is about two years away from high school, so I think going forward, she would probably prefer not to be sharing with her little brother. The current kitchen is the room that we use the most, and there's only room for five people around that kitchen bench, so poor Andrew stands and eats his dinner. It's one of a couple of problems, I guess, with the house at the moment. The bathroom situation isn't good, especially around bath time. Trying to get four children through the bath and not tear the place apart. So it's a real struggle, and the bathroom at the moment is small. There's toothpaste up the wall. There's, yeah, it's, it's, it's chaotic in there. OK, so they agree that something's got to give. The only thing that's standing in their way is a decision on their next move. I'm on Team Listed. I feel that we have outgrown this house and it no longer functions for a family of six people with varying different needs. I think there's a better house out there for us. I believe we're probably sitting in that house at the moment. <laughs> this house has a lot of floor space in it with areas that we don't use. If we can rework those areas, we can give the house a good opportunity to be our home forever. I understand I don't always get my way, but I, I think this is one that we're, I'm going to do well out of. I just feel that if there's a better house and Andrew finds it for us, you'll be very hard to say no to that, I really believe. It's a nice street. Yeah, it is actually. Very, yeah. very tidy. It's a lovely old home. Beautiful. That's it. Oh, is this us? Oh, pretty garden. It's a pretty house. Look at the fence. Wow. White huh. picket fence. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> There's nothing obvious from outside, is there? No. That's annoying. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to our home. I love the look of your home and the garden. Yes, sadly, it is an extremely pretty house and a pretty garden. Can we have a look inside? Of course. We're going to go meet some friends for a drink. See you later. See you Hi later. Guys. Oh, they seem nice. Yeah, they do. Let's just hope the house is a complete tip. Oh, sure it won't be. <laughs> I think you're right. This gorgeous 1920s timber panel cottage has three spacious bedrooms and a small bathroom at the front. Separate dining and a kitchen boxed in in the middle and a split-level extension with laundry, family room and a small study at the back. The block is a generous 579 square metres. Oh, wow, this is pretty. It's nice on the inside. It's a big bedroom. Looks like another big bedroom here too with a beautiful old fireplace. Wow. So there's a decent bedroom there and a, quite a compact but modernised family bathroom. And amazing old period features. Yeah. It's, it's a nice house. It certainly is. Well, I wasn't expecting this. It's got a lot of charm, Andrew. Well, somebody has put a very big and really nice extension on the back of the house. I would say that was the original back wall. Look at this lovely old panelling in here. It does scream late 90s. Early noughties. Look, it's a bit tired. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> but there's plenty of scope for improvement here. Yeah, sadly, I agree with you. I just hope they want to move to Darwin. <laughs> I'm heading this way. I'll take the kitchen. Definitely very dated in here. Lots of room for improvement. Oh, so there's a laundry. Oh, there is a second toilet, but it's off the laundry. Not ideal. Yeah, decent block. I should think it's probably nearly 600 square metres. Yeah. Look, it presents really well, this house. I mean, the layout's a bit old-fashioned. Yeah. It's basically a good house. Sadly, Neil, I tend to agree with you. It is really? a nice house. Yeah, I do. You agree with me? Yeah, I do. A bit of tweaking and... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty worried. Hmm. Just kidding. They've got a lot of kids, and this is only a three-bedroom, one-bathroom home. 
They're moving, Neil. Seven bikes. No, yeah, exactly. Come on. And there's some nice capital gain on my side, too. They paid $970,000 four years ago, and their cute cottage is now worth around $1.25 So once our resident painter and decorator has tarted the joint up, they will be in a great position to upsize for a big family home. I can see that there are a few layout problems, but come on, guys, what's, what's the real problem? We bought this house when we were a family of four, and now we're a family of six. And you really okay. do need Thank to you. get a bigger house. <laughs> No, that just makes me all the more determined to fix this house. Four kids. They're all young, aren't they, at the moment? They sure. are young, yes. Nice. Two, five, seven and nine. Wow. <laughs> OK, mm -hmm. and when they get bigger, mm -hmm. they kind of need mm -hmm. even more space and it's still not going to be a big house. I agree with you, Andrew. I'm going to focus on Andrew because Andrew is <laughs> Team Lovett. Mm. Very much so, yeah. I am Team Lovett in a big way. I have an emotional attachment to this house. I love that it has character. I love that mm. we know that it was built in the... In the 1920s. I think you helped um, develop it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, Andrew. Um, the area is certainly up and coming. There's some gentrification happening around. There's a lot of house renovations happening, and there is more shops, more cafes opening up. So I think over mm. time, it's going to become the area that we will want to live in. It's a very friendly house. It's a very welcoming house. It is, and there's a lot of noise and chaos that goes with that, with all the children that come with this house. I can imagine. And this house definitely does not function well for us. Mm. We have a very small bathroom. The kitchen is in quite an awkward spot in the house. Yeah, it's, it's a veneer of being mm. set away like that is what the yes. 70s, 80s, yeah, yeah. 90s did. And yeah. we do have a lot of people over for entertaining purposes, and I would love to have a kitchen that was open plan yeah. so we can be with our friends and also um, entertain as well. So Sorry, can I stop? No, I've got to So you have four kids and you have time to entertain? <laughs> <laughs> no That's one wants impressive. to invite us to their house. So we have to have everyone to okay. ours. I'm just quite impressed by that. Kira, look, I'm the first person to admit that this home doesn't really allow you to live in the way that a modern family likes to live. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think it can be tweaked to allow you to do that. Okay. Now, Andrew, what would the renovation budget be? Our budget for the renovation is about $180,000. Right. So ideally, we would like some open plan living, dining, kitchen, a second bathroom, which would be a family bathroom, mm -hmm. and then, in an ideal world, a fourth bedroom. Right. It's a big shopping list for $180,000, but I think we can deliver. I need to squeeze in a fourth bedroom, the all-important second bathroom, and reposition the kitchen for modern living, while retaining as much of the period charm and detail as possible. Much easier just to buy a new place. Isn't it? Here. Yeah, I've already worked that one. Now, out. come on, you two. No, 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 this is great. <laughs> I'm glad she's on my side. <laughs> Where would this new home ideally be, and what are the sort of parameters? Geographically, are we just staying locally? Ideally, Andrew, for work, it would need to be within a 20-minute radius of here. Oh, okay. Um, but if you were to find us something spectacular seaside, we would be happy Ooh. to look further afield. I could take early retirement. <laughs> <laughs> but how about your work? Sadly, I guess my work is actually quite portable. Oh. Oh. In order to get the new house with all the accommodation you want, you will consider fresh areas because you're clearly not worried about a fresh start. You've already done it before and the kids are young. Yeah. I like this lady. Yes, I thought you might. I can feel her. I can see <laughs> your eyes like getting quite excited now. OK, all right. Thank you very much. And how much can you spend? Around 1.8 would be good. OK. I'm quite happy. <laughs> if I can't find them a four-bedroom entertainer's delight with such a generous search area, then I'm in the wrong gig. May the luck of the Irish be with me. This search, as far as I'm concerned, is going to be great because finally I've got a, a family that aren't wedded to a particular area. They've already moved halfway around the world. Well, I'm excited too, Andrew. Thought you would be. This house has a really lovely vibe, and I know that I can make it work for you all. Bring the competition on. I think so. <laughs> Andrew bought a beautiful family home that no longer fits their growing tribe. It's perfect for a family of four, um, but we're a family of six. Oh, All right, honey. I did love the house, but I think we've grown so quickly and our needs 
as a family have changed quite dramatically. Husband Andrew's committed to the house and team love it. I feel Neil can definitely provide what we need in this house. We've seen what he's done previously and he's a magician. But Kira wants a bigger, better home and I can show them what's beyond Neil's hocus pocus. I think Andrew's really going to give Neil a run for his money and find us a house that Andrew will not be able to say no to. To convince Kira and Andrew to stay, I need to reclaim all the space that's currently squandered by an outdated floor plan. My design needs to transform their home to allow them the lifestyle they deserve. So, like I said when we first met, I think this house has a lovely energy. And I have to admit, I was, I was really touched at an emotional level by your story and the circumstances that led to your family growing the way it has. And, you know, if there's anything I can do to make this house work better for you, I want to do it. Thanks, Dan. OK? So, I've given it a lot of thought. And like I said to you before, I honestly believe that this house can function for you as a family of six. OK. The front of the house doesn't need to change. And I'm actually very happy about that because that's where you've got all the beautiful period details. Excellent. In here, mm -hmm. it's a different story. OK. The first thing we'll do is remove the boxed-in 90s kitchen and old-fashioned separate dining room. That will allow space for the fourth bedroom, a big family bathroom and a Euro laundry. We'll shift the stairs to create continuity and flow with the front door and new hallway. It sounds great. It does. It sounds amazing. Fourth bedroom. Mm. Look, I think what I'm suggesting is a much more sensible and practical use of the space. Let's face it, this, this dining room is probably dead space. You eat in the kitchen, yes? We do. This is more of a dumping ground for coats and bags and even doing the laundry on it. Yeah, and you don't want a dumping ground right here in the middle of the house. It's not a good look. The rest of the transformation, the really, really big part of the transformation, is down the bottom of those stairs. So, guys, there's a lot to love about the existing layout of this house. It's got a lot of charm, but I totally understand that it doesn't function for you as a young family. Mm -mm. I get it. So, what we're doing is having three distinct stages in this house. If you think of the front of the house as the heritage part of the house, and then the middle bit is the transitional area where we're putting in the new bathroom, the new laundry, the extra bedroom, and then we end up here the contemporary part of the house. This is where you're going to have that open plan, living, dining, kitchen area. The old laundry and tiny study were a waste of prime real estate. They'll be replaced with an open plan kitchen, island bench with seating, and I'll trade the French doors for sliders to allow greater access to the yard. The free-flowing family area will be complete with zones for open plan dining and casual living. It's hard to imagine. It sounds great, but it's hard to imagine. Can I also tell you that above our heads will be six skylights? Sounds amazing. I, I, I can't wait to see what this looks like. We're on a winner here, Neil. Yes, <laughs> for sure. But you're still not going to give us a second living space, so I'm definitely holding out to see what Andrew can produce for us. Look, Kira, you're absolutely right. I can't give you an extra living space, but I do think that once this area of the house has been opened up, it's going to feel twice the size, literally. I think your plan is amazing, Neil. The kids will be that excited, and I think Kira and her Andrew are in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. That's <laughs> exactly. exactly the plan. Exactly. So good competition. OK, well, on that basis, do I have your permission to get going? It's all yours. Fire yes. away, Neil. I'm looking Thank forward you. to this one. I'm really excited. I think what he's going to do inside the house for us is going to really elevate it and give us the vast majority of what we need for our family. Listen, I think it sounds fantastic. I think it sounds really beautiful. I just don't know if Neil can pull off what he has promised. It sounds way too good to be true. Don't buy into Neil's iPad virtual reality, Kira. Stick with me if you want the real deal. We're finally house hunting. We're following the rainbow, and at the end of the rainbow won't be a pot of gold, but your new house. See, did you like what I did with that? I did, yeah, very, very yeah, Even though stuff. I'm so short. Yeah, you're a little man, like a leprechaun. You could find us a pot of gold. A little man? <laughs> Jeez. I've got to ask the question, why Melbourne? You came from Ireland, where the weather is absolutely yeah. atrocious, yeah. and you came to Melbourne, where 
The it's weather is nice. absolutely atrocious. I just thought the weather in Australia... Everywhere was, was perfect. Warm. Yeah, I just yeah. thought it was all hot and, and it, it was warm. And it is in summer. It is in summer. It's a fantastic <laughs> city to live in, honestly. Right, now, as you've probably worked out, we didn't really need to prepare for this journey. It's not exactly long. Yeah, we're in a very close area to where Very, we very close. I, I've not really gone very adventurous with uh, location for number one, because this is about, in my opinion, training you up to the, the house that you need to be the next rung up the ladder. Yes, I'm starting gently and showing them something that's well within their reach. Just five minutes north of Pasco Vale, south is Pasco Vale. Kira and Andrew will be familiar with all the great schools and parks and the convenience of shops and transport. The median price here is around 1.2 million, and they'll even save on removal list. This fully renovated, ultra modern home exceeds the wish list with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two separate living areas. Breathtaking design and a floor plan that's 20% bigger than Kira and Andrew's current place. Oh, yes, and I've managed to throw in a pool. So, this is it. Now, I've, I've played it a bit safe with this house. Clearly, it's in your area that you know well. And to be honest, the house looks <laughs> quite similar to yours from the outside, just in better condition. Um, initial reactions? It's very cute. It's a very good-looking house. And you're familiar with this part of the area? It's in a good location. It's quite close to some really good friends of ours. And there's a school around the corner as well here that the girls have some friends who go to that school. Mm. So I'm not doing badly? Not badly, no. OK, now I wouldn't be doing my job if I just brought you to a house that was in the same area and looked like yours and was the same inside. Trust me. Behind that black door is a house that's totally different from yours. Great. Come and have a look. I'm excited. Let me just tell you that every millimetre of this house is in immaculate condition. It is literally as new. So why don't you go and have a little nose around at this beautiful home and I'll meet you out the back in the kitchen afterwards where there's another surprise. Oh, thank you, Thank you, Andrew. It's not huge in here. It is a cosy master, yes, but it has a walk-in robe. And ensuite? Oh, it's modern, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's an ensuite. Yeah. There's accommodation for all the kids with three great-sized bedrooms and plenty of space for everyone to do their own thing. Second living space is brilliant. This will be wonderful for the kids. I can work in here as well. Could throw them down here, be up there, not hear them. Mm. This is awesome. Great space. Yeah. Yeah. I've also put an end to all the bath time chaos. This is a beautiful bathroom. Oh, this would be great. Separate toilet as well. Great with the kids. Ideal. Separate laundry. <gasps> yeah, this is what we need. Oh. All the storage. And the best is yet to come. This is why one moves to the land down under. Oh, God, I love the curtains. They're beautiful. It's this a fantastic is... room. Gorgeous space. This is really lovely. Yeah, great yeah. family room. <gasps> Kitchen island bench. I love the blue grey. This is really beautiful. It is nice. And I can see the kids from here. I can definitely see myself preparing gourmet meal. Wine. Mmm. <gasps> Have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Well, that's it. We're moving in. Are you kidding? No, nah, this is it. This is gorgeous. <laughs> it's idyllic. This is the dream childhood. Yeah. Um, I have been trying to listen in behind the pot plant there, and, and you, you have been saying wonderful things, but I've been in real estate too long to know that doesn't necessarily mean you like the place. So, come on, Andrew, what do you honestly think of the property? Yeah, the, the layout in the house is great. I think the kids would absolutely love it here. The pool is a real winner for us. Second living space, beautiful open plan, living space. It is really quite beautiful. And how much do you think this house would cost? I reckon about 1.4-ish. So the price guide is 1.2 to 1.3. Oh. Right, OK. So as a start, 
I've done pretty well here. I think you've done amazingly do well. Come on, Andrew, come on. <laughs> we are packing we're, the bags. We've got to drag him around another one now. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Pasco Vale South, I have big plans for this family. We've demolished the old kitchen and dining room and opened up the entire back section. The fourth bedroom and big family bathroom have already been framed up and you can start to see how the home will function. My new living dining space will make all the difference to this big family. I want it to feel grand. A great way to do that is with lovely Aussie light from above. I have some skylights in mind that I want to show Kira and Andrew. You're here already. Hello, Neil. Hi, Neil. I've got the coffee. <gasps> Thank you so much. Two skinny caps. That's the simplest coffee order I've heard in a long time. Especially from Melbourne. So we're here to talk about skylights. Yeah. Because the problem with your house is that you're south facing. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. So I need to flood that open plan living space with light, and that's where these come in. And then I wouldn't give you a bathroom that doesn't have a window, but this will absolutely do the job because the skylight that's going into the bathroom will also be able to open. Excellent. Very clever, yeah. So you're going to have the light plus you're going to have the airflow. But I also want to demonstrate something to you both because these fixed skylights have blinds. Okay. So yeah. let me show you the difference in light when they're closed. It has a really dramatic effect, doesn't it? It sure does. You know, on those really, really bright summer days, yeah. you can control the light that's flowing into your space. Yeah. It immediately lifts your spirits when you see the light come through. I don't know what that Mr. Winter is showing you, but I bet he's not showing you houses with seven skylights. No, you're really stepping up the competition here, Neil. Will you make sure you tell him that number? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Kira and Andrew wanted space for their four kids, and I've delivered. It's idyllic. This is the dream childhood. <laughs> yeah. But I know Neil's been pulling out all the stops. I've got the coffee. <gasps> Thank you so much. Using his tricks of the trade to try and convince Kira to stay. I don't know what that Mr. Winter is showing you. Just make sure you tell him. Seven skylights. So I'll see Neil's seven skylights and raise it to a full house of light. Right, next house, we're talking zero maintenance, walk straight in. It's pretty new. Suburb-wise, Kilo East. OK. We hadn't considered Kilo East before, but it's not too far from where we are currently. Do you know anything about the area? Um, I, I think it's a, it's a, there's a real mix of old and new there. You're absolutely right. There is a mix of old and new, and there's just one part of it that we're going to. I found a new estate in Keylor East, a growing suburb that's attracting lots of families like Kira and Andrew because it offers a real change in lifestyle. Beautiful streetscapes connect to walking trails and open parkland. And the median price for a five-bedroom home is still under $1 million. But I'm going to show them what life would look like if they chose to live in the best house on the best street. This massive modern family home has five bedrooms, three bathrooms and three living areas. Towering ceilings and a split-level layout provide light, space and low-maintenance living. It's a real entertainer for the biggest of families to grow, play and swim. Right, this is it. Wow, oh, my gorgeous. God. So we've gone for something very different and very contemporary. Very big. And very big, yes. OK, the block size is just under 500 square metres. Really? Yes, yeah. clearly that's something I'm going to have to deal with, isn't it? A lot of house. A lot of house. OK, come on in. This is uh, one of three living areas. Three living areas. And... How's that for a kitchen? The scale is something, it's <laughs> huge. It is. It's going to be difficult for Neil to give us this, I think. That's right, Andrew. You see, he's working this out. Neil would not be able to give you a kitchen the size of a small state. I mean, forget four kids. I mean, get 18 sat around that. Well, at least another two. <laughs> you are. <laughs> he looks worried. Now. That's almost like the appetizer for this whole house. There are three ginormous bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs, a study, a fourth bedroom, a media space, another living area, and there's even a pool. Oh, wow, gorgeous. Yeah. Where's, wow. The, where's the garden, Andrew? It's there. I know where you're going with that. I'll meet you in a minute. 
there's plenty of green space at the park around the corner. This is all about the house and what a house it is. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is some laundry. Neil has not given us something like this. This is super, yeah. And obviously, you can get out to the pool area. All the kids can put all their mm. wet stuff in here. Which is... Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Funnily. Wow, this is a great space. Yeah, amazing to have this, wouldn't it be? Awesome. Yeah. Wow, I love this space. It's nice, yeah, as a master, it's, um... The it's light lovely. is gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. I told you this was a beast of a house. She's incredible. <laughs> the space is something. I think we'd be really happy in something this big. Well, I, I don't have to convince you. <laughs> Andrew? The scale of the house is great. Finishes on it. There's a real attention to detail. The real negative is obviously the land size. The, OK. The garden. And I need something with character. Oh. All right, no, I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, the whole point of this is really to try and convince Andrew that you do need a bigger house. <laughs> I think we've convinced him of that. Any idea on values in this suburb of what this would be? At a guess, the size of the house, maybe 1.6? Maybe 1.6 to 1.7. Price guide's 1.8 to 1.9. Ah, uh, slightly okay. out of our budget, Andrew. <laughs> OK, but you do still want a bigger house. I do love the size <laughs> of it. <laughs> Come on, perfect. Come on. Ah, uh, Mr Winter, always ignoring the brief and overcompensating with size. While I prefer to make the most of what I have and deliver bespoke functionality, the new family bathroom with giant tub is nearing completion. Kitchen joinery, feature fireplace and the wide sliding doors are going in. Kira and Andrew's open plan living space is now a blank canvas. So, I want to include them in some important decor decisions to help them feel the love. Slauncher. How do you say it? Slauncher. It means good health in Irish. Slauncher. Slauncher. Now, I know if Andrew was here, he would be using the B word. What's that? Bribery. Ah. But we know that this is a casual lunch between friends. Mm hmm Should we talk some design? Yes, please. I'm excited. Starting here, this is the floor we've chosen. Yep. This is that beautiful white silastone yes. that we're using for your bench tops. And, of course, this is the white laminate that we've chosen for the kitchen cabinetry. Fantastic. Now, for the cabinetry beneath the bench top, I'd like to suggest this timber laminate. OK. Because white can be very stark, and the combination of timber and white is much warmer, has much more depth to it. Yes. And this ties in so beautifully with the flooring that we've chosen. Look at that. It's a perfect match. You would never believe that that's a laminate. No, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Then, I'd like to give you sheer curtains, something nice. that's got that sort of linen feel to it. Quite different to your old uh, velvet curtains that, that oh, I grew yeah. up with in Ireland. We had the same in England. I know exactly where you're coming from. But that's going to diffuse the light so beautifully in summer, but it's also going to help make it feel cosy in winter. It really has a real holiday feel to it. Can you see that blowing in the breeze in summer and it'll be something? Is it beautiful enough to come across to teams? Oh, I love it. Oh, we'll have to see on the day, Neil. Would you like some more wine? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Another bottle, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Cheers again. Cheers. Launcher. 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 So, Andrew, have you got any any goodies or any treats in an esky somewhere for us? It's just that Neil's what? been whining and dining us in a lovely restaurant, trying to get us over to his side. Hang so... on, hang on. Witters has been whining and dining you. Yeah. He's, um, well, he's really pushed the boat out. Well, I don't need to, because just being with me alone should be enough to help you join my team. If you come <laughs> through with the goods, Andrew, on the house, that's that you've got your job done. Exactly. God, dear. A sneaky... Sounds to me like old Witters is getting desperate. What Kira and Andrew really need is a bigger house, and their four kids deserve it. They don't want to negotiate on outside space, so I'm taking a punt on an area that I reckon will be right up their alley. I'm going to give you this suburb to be watching in the mirror and see how you react. Newport. Right, OK. Yeah. yeah. Well, we definitely looked at moving out that way before. Oh, ah, so, so that is a positive smile. Yeah, Look definitely. Look at Andrew. You're, you're <laughs> actually chewing your lip there. Uh, more, yeah, more, more seaside, I guess, and, and definitely... Some, some great pubs. 
Some good pubs and definitely some some really beautiful um, okay. classic homes. Yes. Yeah, well. so after what we've looked at, I, I've gone the back for the character, but I, I just wanted to see whether and whether the location actually could play more of a role than than you think. Newport offers a glorious outdoor lifestyle that's within easy reach of the CBD, and folks are only just starting to cotton on to the area's charms. Quiet streets, character-filled homes, great access to transport, and less expensive than the comparable neighbouring suburbs, at least for now. This Californian cracker has been meticulously reinvented with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living spaces, home office, butler's pantry, and a bonus for special guests. Yep, it's everything they want wrapped up in a perfectly familiar package. There we go. I love the fact that it looks just like our house. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in a very different type of location, and the house is considerably bigger. OK. OK. Have a look inside. So come straight down. How am I doing now? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say yuck. No, I'm like, I'm taking it in. <laughs> you do like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> it's like everything me. It's a lovely house. It's a really nice feel to it. It's, um... Coming it's... from Team Love It. Yeah. So it's got the four bedrooms that we want. It's got the master bedroom with the ensuite, but... See the garage you're building out there? There is rear lane access and there is storage, but there also happens to be bedroom five plus ensuite for guests oh. out in the garden. Are you kidding, oh. really? Why don't you go and have a good look around and I'll meet you up somewhere. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to deliver the line about pricing. Anyway, you go off and have a wander. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. It's got so much character with the old fireplace, high ceilings. This would be cosy in winter with the fire and... Mm. Uh, master. It's gorgeous. Again, like really cozy, really warm. It's an ensuite around here. This is this is actually lovely, isn't it? It's kind of tucked away and uh, private. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous bathroom, big bathtub. All the kids would fit in there. It's a great way they've done the shower and the bath. Good bathroom. They get all the bedrooms they wanted with plenty of space for the kids to grow, as they do. Such a great space, all the storage. Appliances, everything in here. Lovely big island bench. Great for entertaining, great for the kids. How many kids you fit around here, do you reckon? At least two more. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love it. There's no limit here. A separate studio out back makes this a ripper of a house. This is a real bonus, isn't it? This is ideal. I mean, this is escape for anyone, for you, for me, for the kids, parents who want to come over and stay. Yeah, yeah. This is ideal. I'm just concerned about yeah, how much it's I'm, going to cost. I'm terrified as to what it's going to cost. Yeah. Let's go find Andrew. OK, Andrew, ruin the dream. <laughs> All right, well, how much do you think it is? I think this house, is, they will want between 1.9 and 2 million for it. I'm going to have to agree with you, honey, on this one. OK, it's not that. The price guide on it is 1.6 to 1.65. OK. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked and distraught. <laughs> And the question here, really, Andrew, is how much do you love your wife? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, look, there's loads of fuel for thought now. I think really what it's done, though, is given us some good ideas for our house, oh, is what I'll say. Oh, 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 <laughs> nice try. Come on. <laughs> Why do we always end up meeting in parks? What is it with you and parks? <laughs> Andrew, this is not just any old park. This is just round the corner from Kira and Andrew's house. Right. So this is, this is more like an extension of their backyard that they can walk to with the kids. I know what you're doing here. What? You haven't got them a second living space, have you? You're upselling the park as additional space for their tiny house. Maybe. 
But what I have done is I've transformed their cottage into a great family home. Yeah, but they've got four kids who will eventually become giants. They're going to outgrow that house. Meanwhile, I showed them houses with multiple living areas, countless bedrooms, and in fact, one, maybe even two of them, had a pool. <sighs> OK, OK, I admit, I'm a little bit worried. So, you know, may the best man win and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, best man, yeah. Cheating. Cheating? I heard you took them out for uh, food and wine. Since when has sharing a dumpling with friends been cheating? Ugh. <laughs> Steam. Steam dumplings. They were delicious. They were lovely. Sure they were, but really. You could have come. Oh, yeah, you didn't invite me, did you? I have to say it's a really beautiful house and a stunning renovation. Thank you, Andrew. That means a lot coming from you. Ah, completely unsuitable for the family that can live in it, but there we go. OK, I knew there'd be a sting in the tail. Oh, here they are. Oh, hello. Hello, hello there you too. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Good. So, how excited are you both? I'm really excited to see how much money you've made us, Neil. Kira, what are you doing? I'm just looking at dumpling shop in the Newport area. Oh, there's lots of, lots of dumpling restaurants around here. Newport? Newport. Come on, guys, let's go inside. I can't wait to show you both. In you come. Welcome home. Whoa! Oh, my God. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at this storage that's been created here on the left-hand side. Oh, amazing. You have now got cupboards for days. Oh, so good. Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. By using a neutral palette throughout, the entire space feels calm and welcoming. It's amazing. It is. Super bright, Neil. Neil, you've done an incredible job. This sun-drenched family zone is grounded by the black fireplace and floor-to-ceiling white brick surround, which draws the eye up to the stunning skylights. You'll never have to worry about the light again. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Not in here. <laughs> in the kitchen, white cabinetry and stone bench tops are broken up by a tile splashback to give the space texture. Natural wicker pendants exploit the high ceilings and define the dining area. It really has retained the character, but this is just such a such a good twist on it now. It just feels like a happy place to be. What do you think the kids will think? Oh, <laughs> they're going to absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, the fact that they can just run outside and they're right in front of us and we can be here and, and see everything mm. that's going on. I know. It's a cliche, but there's a massive amount of wow factor here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I don't mind yeah, the odd yeah. cliche. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't just stop here. Mm. There's a beautiful bathroom yeah. and that extra bedroom. So go and check those out, and then remember that, unfortunately, you have to have your chat with Andrew. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Thank you so much. The new bathroom also features neutral tones, with contrasting finishes for subtle complexity. Oh, wow. Oh, this is stunning. It's elegant. It's so pretty. A huge skylight provides seven times more ventilation than a regular window and fills every corner with light. A family-sized tub is perfectly positioned to bathe privately in the sunshine or beneath evening stars. This modern take on a timeless style is also loaded with functionality. Oh, that's really, ah, really clever. That is so smart. Great. Oh, I love it. Excellent. Big sister Avi now has her very own bedroom. This is really gorgeous. This is a wonderful room, yeah. It's nice and grown up for Aves as well. I think she'll yeah, really she's gonna love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, she can tuck away in here and read a book. Mm. Leaving little Jack with his own space to grow into. Oh, this is really sweet. This is a lovely little room, isn't really it? Really cozy. Yeah, Jack is gonna love it in here. Kira and Andrew put $180,000 into the renovation, and Neil's definitely delivered on their wish list. But it begs the question, has the property's value been affected? This is the bit I always get a bit nervous, because whilst I think I've got you over the line and convinced you that you definitely need a bigger house, I'm sat here looking at this amazing room by this stunning fire, and it all gets very annoying. But, of course, I'm just picturing it now, a day here with your four gorgeous children running around and the chaos that would be in this one space. <laughs> Beautiful chaos. And your visitors that arrive and then they come straight into this one space. So that's my plea. You want to talk money, values. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look, before the renovation, the value was coming in at around 1.25. What are you hoping for now? I would, I would love a profit, at least 
1.55. The valuations come in around 1.55. OK. <laughs> so it's, uh, you've been looking at my notes. OK, that, that's, that's quite scary. So the good news is what you've invested, you've got your money back and you've got a nice little bit of a profit there. Yeah, yeah. So really, there shouldn't be an argument here. You just should buy a bigger house. I think it's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we're ganging up on him or anything, oh, are we? No, it no. doesn't feel that way at all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my two favourite words, capital gain. A profit of over $100,000 will easily account for an extra living space should they decide to make their move up the property ladder. I might prepare a toast to my mate Whitaker. The house in there is beautiful. Neil has given us pretty much everything that we've asked for. No, honestly, I do think it's a beautiful space. It's it's gorgeous. Neil's done an incredible job. I just think we're going to outgrow it really quickly, Andrew, like really quickly. I've, I'm aware that I didn't give them that second living space, mm. but at the same time, Kira seemed to really love the renovation. Did she? Yeah. Mm. Why? I've got a little bit of a surprise planned for oh. later. Avi has her own room, you know, we can all find a bit of space for each other. Oh, in that one living area. It's a great space, but I just think it's not for us. What kind of surprise? Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to share that with you, otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? <laughs> There's no way I'm leaving here without a battle. Surprise. Don't like surprises. Mm -hmm. well, you have to get calm, calm down when you have to take one of your tablets again. <sighs> Andrew, I have given you a house with a little bit of yesterday, but a whole lot more of today. And in the process, I'm really hoping that I've created a forever home for you both and the family. It's an incredible space and you're really beautiful. I'm thrilled with this. Yeah, yeah, the, the space that you've created, like it's magical in here, you know, it really is. It feels, it feels exactly like we wanted it to, so thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure, guys. What have you got there? Oh, just a little something. Did you buy it? Yeah. You've been doing the bribery thing, haven't you? You've been so. If you join my team, there's a little something here for you. Oh, mm, very that good. Is so blatant. So no. blatant bribery. If it was blatant, you'd he see the label. He knows the way to our heart. Exactly. So that means now is the time to ask the question. Okay. Okay. Kira and Andrew, are you going to love it, or are you going to list it? It has been a huge decision for us as a family, and we've thought long and hard. We have, yeah. It's a difficult decision, but I think we've got there. Our decision is that we are going to list it. Oh, 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 oh it worked! Oh, that, oh, I'm gonna do... <laughs> that is so good, and it was so cheap to... Um, no, oh, no, I didn't say that. Neil, it is a beautiful home, but unfortunately, it's just not gonna show the distance for us. Guys, I get it, and I just want to wish you congratulations and all good luck for the future. When we were looking at property, this man was adamant he was staying in this house. Something massive has had gone on here. So that Newport has a little bit of a temptress. Did it really help with the process? It, it was beautiful, and it had the second living area, and it was probably on a slightly bigger scale than this, so seeing that and seeing what was available, in the market. That kind of price point was, was a real eye-opener. So, basically, when it comes to bribery, who bribed better? We made the decision solely based on our family's needs, and that is the truth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Spoken like a true diplomat. So we'll never know. It was one of the hardest things in my life to admit defeat. Um, I don't normally lose in this relationship, and it's devastating to have lost this. I think it's devastating to leave behind such a beautiful home, but just sadly, it's not big enough. Have you ever been to Ireland? Yes, I love Ireland, and I love the Irish accent. Oh, do you? You like a little bit of the Irish dialect? Yeah, the real thing. Oh, OK, that was a bit rude. Did he pay? Well, I didn't pay. Did you pay? <laughs> yeah, but I bet he made you run out really quickly after you'd finished. <laughs> did he? Yeah, I know what he does. Get the car ready to go pretty quick. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs>